Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how to make a kawaii kangaroo charm using polymer clay to help raise money for the Australian bushfires. So currently there are a large number of bushfires happening in Australia right now. These fires have burnt massive amounts of area and land. At this time of filming there has been confirmed 500 million animal deaths from the bushfires. And I've decided I want to help out any way I can. So 100% of the money that I make from the ads on this series of Australian animal tutorials will be donated directly to the Animal Rescue Collective, which is an organization currently helping all the animals with food, with medicine, um, with shelter, any way they can. They're doing huge drop-offs of um, food and they really need our help and our donations to be able to continue supplying food for these animals affected by the bushfires. If you would like to donate directly, I will be leaving links down below. If you would also like to help the people or families affected by the bushfires, I will leave those links down below as well to some charities that you can donate to. So thank you for watching this video. Um, just by watching, you are providing money to help the animals. And let's get on with the tutorial. So begin by taking some brown clay. I'm using Caramel by Fimo. Start by rolling a piece into a ball for the head and then using your fingers to shape a snout on the front of the face. For the ears, use your brown base colour to create two teardrop shapes. Then take a lighter tan colour and also create the same shape and then place these on top of the others. Trim off some of the wider end and then you can position these onto the head and blend them on. For the face, I began by creating two indents where I wanted the eyes to go. I then placed in two balls of black clay and used some small balls of pink clay for the cheeks. For the mouth, I added on two thin U shapes to the snout part and then also placed on a nose using black clay. For the body, you'll want to roll some of your base colour into a cone and then trim off the top part. For extra strength, I added a piece of wire and also some liquid clay before adding the body to the head. If you don't have wire or liquid clay, just blend it on as normal. For the stomach area, I used the same light tan clay as I did for the ears and I placed a circle onto the body. I then also added a small strip of brown clay to look like the kangaroo's pouch. For the legs, you'll be needing two small pieces of clay. Shape one of them into a teardrop and then also add some indents to the other piece for the little feet. Go ahead and position these two parts together and then you can add them to either side of the body. For the arms, I also shaped two small teardrops and added them to the charm. For the tail, I rolled out a piece of my clay and then cut it off on an angle so that I could easily position it on the back. Now go ahead and add an eye pin if you want to make it into a charm and then bake your clay in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I secured the eye pin with some super glue and I also added on a coat of UV resin for my glaze for extra shine and protection. So this is what my finished kangaroo charm turned out like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to check out the links in the description box and donate if you can to help the animals and people affected by the bushfires. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.